So you're more comfortable with the D chord, and you know that the D chord is tiny yet mighty, but the D chord has gifts that keep giving. And in this exercise, I'm gonna show you how to access those gifts. In fact, this exercise not only is extremely musical, but it allows you to really develop strength with the D chord and develop that proper fretting technique, technique that's necessary to get a good clean sounding D chord consistently. Okay, so what I want you to do to start this exercise, this is just one lesson in a series where I'll take you from zero to guitar player in 30 days by teaching you the four super fun skills that'll get you hooked on guitar. Before you get started, you'll need to download the tabs, course guide, and 30 day checklist. To get yours, just click on the link in the video or visit 30daystoplay.com. Is we're gonna go ahead and make a D chord, the one that you now know and love. Middle finger on the second fret of the high E, ring finger, third fret of the B, index finger, second fret of the G. Beautiful D chord. Once you're there, two down strums, right? One, two. Next, I want you to take your middle finger, and even though it's scrunched in there, I want you to lift it off of that high E string. So now the high E string is open. I want you to do two strums with your middle finger off of that high E. It's gonna sound like this. Once you've done that, replace your middle finger on that second fret of the high E, two more strums. Next, I want you to take your pinky and tuck it right underneath your ring finger on the third fret of the high E. Two more strums there. And then last but certainly not least, two more strums in your standard D position by lifting off that pinky. So that's the exercise. Now, this might sound familiar to you because if you've listened to any rock songs that featured an acoustic guitar from the late 60s through the 70s, well, we'll rep in the 80s, 90s, and even 2000s, people have been using and abusing <laughs> that feature of the D chord for decades upon decades. Why? Because it sounds cool, it's effective, and it proves that the D chord is indeed tiny and mighty. This is just one lesson in a series where I'll take you from zero to guitar player in 30 days by teaching you the four super fun skills that'll get you hooked on guitar. Before you get started, you'll need to download the tabs, course guide, and 30-day checklist. To get yours, just click on the link in the description or visit 30daystoplay.com.